Welcome back. This is Dan Habe with CF Ninja Hacks, and today what we're going to do is we are going to take a look at this membership access page that we're building out for a program that we are doing. And um, the things you can see with it is obviously you have a big full width image in the background, and then you see here in the middle it gets darker, and then we got this white text and the um, membership uh, access element right there. So let's just reload this page and see what happens when when somebody comes to this page for the very first time. So what you did there, you saw it, you got the full width of the image, you get to see all the kids in the background participating in their various sports, and then you have the black center part come up as well as the white text and the, um, the box at the bottom. Well, part of the problem we were having is this white text did not work over the top of this background, but we also didn't want to have the background completely wiped out. So what I ended up having to do was putting a linear gradient across here. And the background itself, if you really look at this here, the background set in ClickFunnels is actually just pure black. And then at the body level element, we put in the image and then the container wrapper level is where we put in that gradient and then of course you see you got a little bit of an animation as it comes flying in there and then um, again we have this full image in the back so when you do get inside of the membership area you can see here in the back you got the image in there it's very much grayed out at this point but then if we click here you can see now we got it bleeding through all over the place and then if we take go back to the courses, you see these just go back and forth. And then here on the side, we can uh, move the menu out of the way to make the content as big as we possibly can on the screen so people can see it. So let's take a look here. Let's go back there. So you see what it looks like there. So let's go into the code itself. And uh, before we go there, let me come back here. Let's open up the developer tool. And let me move this out of the way, and which you can't see, but it's uh, I'm on Ecamm Live and um, got a little uh, picture of myself there. So um, first thing, like I said, at the HTML level, that's where if you're inside of ClickFunnels, you come into your settings, you go to background. Let's uh, kill that. Oops. Uh, let's go back in here. Background. All we have set here is the... Uh, in the background inside of ClickFunnels is the background color. We do not have an image set. So over here in the code, what that is represented by is the HTML element up here at the top, and it just says background color, and that uh, in um, uh, RGB is black right there, 000. Then inside of there, we have our body element, and at the body element level, that's where I have this image, and you can see with the image, it actually is a... Uh, transparent PNG and so let me see yeah it is PNG and so it is it's got a transparent background on it so therefore the black that is behind it is shining through it and then we come down to the container inner level and that's where we have this gradient in the background and we can turn that off and you can see now it makes that white text let me get this out of the way it makes that white text uh, really difficult to read and so that's why we had to put the gradient in at that level. But the reason why I'm showing you all this is that you have three levels you can play with here above where your sections are. So here we have section, well actually this is the modal pop-up, that's the pop-up uh, section right there. And then you have one section here, another section, another section, and so all your sections line up below it. But above the sections, you actually have three levels where you can put in different things in order to build out a background to look however you would like. So let's just take a look at what we did in here. Um, so in the CSS, we're just going to come in, and we're right down here in this area here, lines 35 to 49 is what we're looking at. And so let me widen this out a little bit. So what I have here is I just say for the body element, and because the body tag is exactly what it is so it's not a class it's not an ID so you don't put a period or a hashtag in front of it you don't put the square brackets around it like that because it also is not a an attribute either so it's just the body element of the page and on there we say grab a hold of this image 
And so, of course, where did I get that image from? Well, let me just go here. Oop, let me kill that again. Let's go in here. Let's go to background. And all I did was come in here, right-clicked on that, said copy image address, and then oops, pop out of there. And then I just pasted that in to the CSS right there on line 37. So I just pasted that in right there with the URL and the parentheses around it. I said position of relative and z-index of one because I always wanted to make sure that the body was at one level and then down here at the bottom we have z-index of two. I wanted to make sure that the gradient was always in front of the image in the background, so I gave one a Z index of one and the other one a Z index of two, Z index of two being larger, and so it'll be closer to the viewer. And so then, like I said, so we had the HTML where we had the black background. Now we got the body, which is inside of it, and that's where we have the image. And then the third layer in, we have our container wrapper. And in this case here, I'm saying, let's start off by displaying nothing and have no background image on it because what I want to do using some JavaScript then is to have it show up. So as you saw here, let me reload this page again. As you saw here, you had that image and then the rest of this comes flying in like that. So I wanted to be able to put a delay on it. So I wanted to be able to delay that background becoming dark and, and it becomes dark as the rest of it is flying in onto the screen. So that's what we did here, and then so when we change that state, when we give it this new uh, new class right here, that's what we're going to do is we're going to give a container wrapper, we're going to give it a new class. Then it's going to say, okay, then put in this linear gradient right there. Again, a position of relative and z-index of 2 to bring it to the front. So then in the tracking code itself, Again, it's only like two lines of tracking code. Let me see here. Where is it? Yeah, it's, uh, well, it's really one line. Um, so we have here container inner. I'm sorry, container wrapper. We want to add the class of container gradient. So that was right over here. We have right here container gradient. We're giving it that additional class. And uh, where do I need to go here? Back to the tracking. So we're going to give it that additional class with that additional CSS information in it. And then we want it to fade in over 2,000 milliseconds, which is two seconds. So the dark part in the background here, actually from the time the page loads to the time that it is fully black is two seconds. And again, that's when the other stuff is comes flying in as well. Because when the page starts opening, the header section and the login section, which this is the header section up here. Let me just uh, highlight it. Here we go. There's the header section, and here's the login section. So there's actually two different sections built on the page. I could have built it as one, but that's the way it got built, and so I just used it. So those come fading in over half a second. So not only do they fade in, but they also come flying in. So let's go back to our CSS. You saw the animation there. Let's come back to our CSS and let us turn, let us kill this down here, and let's save it. And then we can reload the page, and you're going to see it just fade in, but you're not going to see it come bouncing in like it had been. So there you go. So now it just fades in over half a second once the rest of the page loads. And then, of course, the background gradient of black also came in um, at about the same time. So now let's come back to our animation here. And I got this animation, I think it's from animate.cs. Let me, CSS, let me see. No, maybe that's not right. Let me see, animate. Let's try that, animate.style. Okay, yeah, it was it right there. In fact, that's the animation right there. So I came in here. That's a little bit more, uh, that's going to be a different class. In fact, maybe I'll do that next week. Maybe I'll talk more about animations next week because it's a, uh, it's really a, a huge topic, but uh, let me see. Where were we here? Uh, let's go back here. No, that's not where I want to be. I want to be right here. There we go. Um, what did I start to say? So that's where I got it from. So let me go back here. So that is animate.style. Go there. There's all kinds of really cool animations there. And so I, I basically just copied what they did. I didn't change anything. Didn't really think about it too much. 
except for this part right here. Well, no, actually, I think I got this all from them, too. So what we're saying is take that header section and the login section, again, this part here and this part down here, and do this animation to it. And so the animation's name is zoom in down right there, which then that gets picked up down here. So it's calling this animation down here, and you do these animations with what are known as keyframes. And again, whole other big, huge subject, but they're a lot of fun to work with when you start doing it. That whole thing at the beginning of uh, Sea of Ninja Hacks, when you log into there and the box blows apart, goes flying around the screen, all that is done with keyframes. I think there's like one or two lines of JavaScript involved with it, but otherwise everything else is done with keyframes, making it all be totally animated. And so then we just, you know, you know, you saw the way it does it, just kind of comes in. I'm not going to try to explain the whole thing right now because, like I said, that's a totally different lesson. But that was it. What I really wanted to show you here is, again, how you can take these different layers inside of the HTML, the um, HTML level, the body, and then the container inner, as well as, of course, your sections itself, how you can take that, how you can layer different images, different effects in there, and then on load, how you can use just a little bit of uh, JavaScript here, as you saw, it's like a couple of lines, and it couldn't be much easier. One is we add a class, then we have it fade in, and then we have all the rest of them fade in as well. So that is it for today. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out. Have a great day.